Assalamu alaikum this is Dr. Hasna and today we will discuss the first carpal medial carpal joint before we get started let me give you a little orientation so this is your hand these are the carpal bones of the hand there is a proximal row the distal row and after these carpal bone begin the metacarpals so this is the first metacarpal second third and fourth fifth metacarpal bones after that we have the individual fingers in all the digits the phalanges are proximal middle and distal but only in the thumb they are the proximal and distal there is no middle phalanx in the thumb so what is the carpo metacarpal joint is the joint formed between the carpo meaning the carpal bones and the metacarpal and it is number 1 meaning the first metacarpal bone is involved so the carpal bone over here and the first metacarpal bone right here they undergo a union that is right here and this is known as the first carpo metacarpal joint first carpo metacarpal joint allows movements of the thumb so the first thing that is important is what type of joint is the first carpo metacarpal joint first carpo metacarpal joint is saddle joint of synovibridae which is because there are concave or convex surfaces involved now the second question arises that what are the articular surfaces of the joint the articular surfaces of the joint are simple there is a proximal articular surface and a distal articular surface the proximal articular surface you all know is the carpal bone but which carpal bone the trapezium bone so the distal surface of the trapezium and the proximal surface of the first metacarpal bone of this joint what are the ligaments of this joint there is the capsular ligament that surrounds the entire joint and apart from that there is the lateral ligament and anterior ligament and a posterior ligament all these ligaments are bands that are surrounding the joint anteriorly posteriorly laterally that's all you need to know about the ligaments the blood supply of this joint is the radial vessels and the nerve supply is derived from the median nerve so that's some information over this joint but what's more important about this joint are its movements so here let's discuss a little about what exactly is happening over this area basically uh if you remember that the most lateral part of the thumb bore two tendons the two tendons were the abductor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis that were passing deep to the extensor retinaculum in the first groove and then there was a third groove of extensor retinaculum giving passage to the tendon of extensor pollicis longus right here was the anatomical snuff box so that you can say is the posterior relation of your first carpal metacarpal joint anteriorly is the thenar eminence if you remember there were the thenar eminence muscles that contained the abductor pollicis brevis flexor pollicis brevis and the opponens pollicis muscles apart from that the more lateral relation was again above the abductor pollicis longus and finally the medial relation of this joint is what so if these are the 1 2 3 4 5 metacarpal bones this is the first space second space third space four, fourth space between these metacarpal bones the first space dorsally consists of the do first dorsal interosseous muscle and this is what's forming the medial boundary of this first carpal metacarpal joint now let's talk about the movements of this joint so as i mentioned earlier there are wide range of movements of this joint the flexion the extension the abduction and the adduction So what's more important to know about this movement is the flexion and extension occur in the plane of the palm while the abduction and abduction these are the movements occurring at right angle to the plane of the palm so if this is a palm this is abduction and this is adduction so this is not abduction abduction is this because it is occurring at right angles to the plane of the palm apart from this the final movement is the opposition the opposition is a very dynamic movement it involves flexion and then abduction it also involves the adduction and it also involves rotation of the metacarpal bone so let's talk about the muscles involved in the movements of these joint the first movement was the flexion so the flexion and the opposition the two movements these two have the same muscles being causing the movements and these are the flexor pollicis brevis and the opponens pollicis so both of these muscles are involved in carrying out both of these movements moving on there is the extension the extension is carried out by the extensors of the thumb these are the extensor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis 
if you remember, extensor pollicis longus was here, the extensor pollicis brevis was here. Then we have the fourth movement, abduction. The abduction is simply carried out by the abductor pollicis longus and the abductor pollicis brevis. APB and the APL, the abduction. The abduction is carried out by a single adductor of the thumb, which was the, uh, when we, we studied in the intrinsic muscles of the palm, this was the adductor pollicis. And it is the only muscle involved in adduction. And finally, there is another movement as well. And this is basically a combination of all of these movements. As you all know, it is the circumduction, which means movement all around. An important clinical of the first carpal metacarpal joint is the decor veins tenosynovitis. So tenosynovitis means, as you all know, teno meaning tendon, synovial meaning the synovial membrane, and finally itis, it means inflammation. So the decor veins tenosynovitis is basically the inflammation of the synovial membranes of the tendons of the extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus. As you guys remember, they were right here. And when there is inflammation, and this is caused by repetitive movement and repetitive use of the uh, tendons or repetitive strain of these muscles or repetitive use of this muscle. In this condition, what happens is there is pain when there is movement of the thumb and also in the anatomical snuff box, there is tenderness. So that's all about the first carpometacarpal joint. Thank you so much for watching.